Who should or shouldn't take the COVID-19 vaccine? Vaccine against the emerging second wave of COVID-19 is becoming a hot topic nowadays, and there are several misconceptions that are circulating on social media. People are not getting the right concept of vaccination, and they have several reservations against COVID vaccine. So, this video is going to clear all your doubts in less than 10 minutes. Stay tuned to this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Globally, more than 12 million people placed online applications for COVID-19 vaccines using CoWin and Arogia Setu app. With every passing day, demand for vaccines is raising. But still, millions of people are not sure if they should get vaccinated or not. So let's look at some common medical conditions first and see who should get vaccinated and whom should avoid getting vaccinated. Let's start. 1. Pregnant Women During pregnancy, due to many hormonal and physiological processes, women need to take deep and long breaths than the normal routine. If pregnant women meet with COVID-19 patients or visit places where exposure to the COVID-19 virus is possible, then there is a risk to catch COVID virus. As per the recommendation of the World Health Organization, vaccination is the best option for conceiving ladies. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, there is no live virus in the vaccine, and it can't degenerate DNA or cell growth. This vaccine is found to be more responsive in premature and mothers. However, Indian Health Council doesn't allow pregnant women to use this vaccine. 2. Lactating Women Lactating women can also go for COVID-19 vaccine and women can continue breastfeeding after vaccination. According to health experts, after vaccination, antibodies become part of breast milk, and it can protect an infant from getting infected with COVID-19. Almost all vaccines of COVID are using mRNA, a molecule that gives instructions to our cells on how to make protein. This also includes the proteins which are responsible for making us immune towards infections. When immunity raises, our bodies prepare a lot of antibodies to fight against any foreign entity. But we yet have no data that can show the effects of mRNA on milk production or vaccine effect of vaccine on breastfed infants. 3. Vaccines do not cause infertility. There are several misleading posts on social media and rumors that vaccination might cause infertility in humans. But there are no evidences to confirm this claim. To understand this, you must know that syncotin-1 is a specific protein that plays a role in development of placenta and successful pregnancy. Some people assume that vaccines may cross the placenta and can cause damage. According to health experts, structure of mRNA and syncotin-1 protein is different, so mRNA cannot target syncotin-1. This protein is not only found in the female placenta, but also in a certain part of brain and no evidence can support the fact that the brain has stopped the production of syncotin-1 after vaccination. Some experts also said that there are 20 different types of amino acids, and each has few similarities. But these similarities are not enough to destroy syncotin-1. Another thing is that hospitals have found no such case of miscarriages or placental disorder and infertility in women after inoculation of COVID vaccines. Without any doubt, Future mothers can choose vaccines if they have chance of the COVID-19 virus. 4. People with severe chronic diseases There are several chronic diseases like cancer, liver ailment, hypertension, diabetes, asthma, and cardiovascular disorder that suppressed the human immune system in several ways. Due to this autoimmune system, body cannot figure out the virus accurately or kill the foreign entity. So, people with these diseases can safely go for vaccines as these people are more vulnerable to catching the COVID-19 virus. So there is a dire need to enhance immunity within these patients. There is limited data available for vaccine trials of people infected with said diseases. However, only rare cases of allergy can be found in HIV infection after vaccination. 5. Frail and Elderly People Statistics of COVID infections show that older people get more affected by the virus. According to the Norwegian Medicine Agency, almost 50 weak and elderly individuals died after the first dose of COVID vaccine. 
Some people also experienced an irregular heartbeat and severe allergic reaction with the COVID vaccine. But countries like the UK and US first tested these medicines on mostly elderly and frail individuals, and rare cases were reported with severe reactions. Therefore, this vaccine is also safe for elderly and weak people. However, before having vaccinated, they need to share their medical history with a relevant health consultant. 6. People with allergic reactions Some people may have severe allergic reactions from food, medicines, pets, or the environment can be vaccinated. But any individual having allergy within veins or muscles should not go for vaccines as it may trigger inflammatory responses with veins and muscles. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, only 10 to 21 cases of severe allergic reaction were found after BioNTech and Pfizer vaccination. And these are only 11.1 cases per million doses of COVID. So, you should always know the type of allergy and by sharing your previous health history with your health professional, you may go for vaccines. Seven. People who were recently diagnosed with COVID-19. Any individual who has been tested as COVID positive and gets sick due to COVID-19 symptoms must go for a vaccine within four weeks. If he again experienced symptoms like fever, shortness of breath, and body aching, then he may go for a second dose after completion of isolation period. 8. Any individual exposed to someone with COVID-19. If an individual suddenly meets with a person who has COVID-19 symptoms, then in the first step, individual must isolate for 10 to 14 days. And if he feels any unrest in body or shortness of breath, he must immediately go for vaccines. 9. Children below 18 years. Although limited cases were reported for children who get infected with the COVID-19 virus, but when the U.S. got two infected cases of children in every 10 individuals, then health professionals recommended COVID vaccines for children of age 12 to 18. And this was done after several clinical trial. And vaccines are found to be effective and boosted antibodies in children. Any children infected with COVID may transfer the virus to other family members and even can create new variants that may not be treated with available vaccines. Therefore, vaccine is a safe and effective strategy to stop the spread of the virus. Who should not take the vaccine? 1. Individual having vaccine allergy. Any individual who suffers from allergic reactions due to medications or early childhood vaccines allergy may not go for COVID-19 vaccine. 2. Low platelet count. People with low platelet counts should not go for the vaccine. The vaccine can produce antibodies that help them to stick together and lower the movement of blood, resulting in blood clots. Blood clots may travel to the brain or lungs and thus cause severe complications within the body and may lead to death. So always check your platelet counts before vaccination or consult your physician. 3. Healthy adult having no signs of COVID-19. Some individuals develop doubts in mind that they may have COVID or they get panicked by watching social media posts. So, without any reason or symptoms, a healthy individual that has experienced no symptoms of COVID since its outbreak should not go for vaccination. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know in the comments section if you learned something new.